Hello again, it's me again. I saw someone suggest that I draw glasses next on one of my goggles videos, so I figured why not? I'll I'll do it for you. The name I don't know I can't remember their name, but it had something with a Y in it. Very sparkly golden Y I remember. But Anyhow, let's start off with our simple base again. You know, it's the works. And just make it real solid. There's nothing too special you have to do. Because this is glasses and not goggles and such. Yeah. So we've got our basic head shape. The triangular ears. I said that horribly wrong. You know. Keep trying your ears. And I don't know why I do features first. It just kind of helps sculpt everything. You do that. Sort of. Again, we don't make mistakes here. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast, but here we have our basic head shape. Let's make her a little neck here too. Um, and then, yeah, let's see here. Oh, you have the the what you want to call it, it's the tentacles, yeah. Just, just make sure you got that down. You can simplify things if you'd like. Sometimes it'll make for cleaner and cleaner getaway here. I'm at an awkward angle, bear with me. Um, so yeah, there's our those are our tentacles, and an inkling's hairline sort of goes like this, but it's like, it's like very smooth, and smooth-like there. You see? Again, adjustments can be made at any time, don't worry too much about it. We have ear here, ear here, nose, and I guess on drawing glasses, the glasses are the hard part, but usually I start with at least drawing the eyes, you know, and he's got a thick pair of uh, retro specs there, so it's gonna, gonna be a bit of a, you know, hassle. And, yeah, but we, again, adjust when necessary. Just make those eyes as equal as you can. It's okay if it's not too equalized, because you know, you have room for error. Mm. Just like that. We just straighten these lines out. Make glasses here. Probably have to adjust you know, adjustments, just the ears a little bit, because, you know, for proper framework, you gotta, yeah, just wondering where, because you gotta sort of map out the glasses at least a little bit. You gotta do some square boxing around the eyes. 
Just very carefully, very slowly. And just make sure the the wings or arms or whatever you want to call it of the glasses are going to be having some space to to do this. Yeah, something like that. And then with this side, you can just kind of like cheat it a bit. There's nothing wrong with that. You need to cheat when you need to cheat. And so we just, you know, simply fill in to the best of our ability. You know, because I see I you see, I kind of made the boxes slightly dispropor disproportionate, but, you know, that can only, it, as I say, it's fixed in editing, and, and since this is a quick ske sketch, I can just do black frame. It works well with when, you know, if you ever want to ink it in either, you know? Uh, and, yeah. You just go like that, and yeah, I kind of do these all in one go, because, you know, fun like that, I like to have fun here, and between the bridge to the glasses here, it's sort of taped, so yeah, you do that. It's taped a little bit over here too, I think, if I remember right. It's always good to have a lot of references if you can find them. If you can find a pair, like, I know Glessis's gear right off the top of my head. Um, for his Splatoon 1 look, he's all well, for Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, like, the sections that they get in the manga, it's always going to be retrospects, and, and his two shirts are, like, you know, one's just the shirt and tie, the other is jelly print shirt and tie which i can probably do both on camera here you know and so basically let's get drawing on those eyes because i do not like staring at those soul soulless husks just make a round little oh my god that's <laughs> whoops i wasn't paying attention for a moment <laughs> I wouldn't put him past him, put it past him to make the, that face though. Just, yeah, there we go. That's much better. He's not so dirt bied. And just, you know, do the little inkling mask. In coloring, you'll probably want to differentiate and between you and me I always make the squid mask as dark black as possible with these glasses you can probably go for a lighter black or a lighter gray to make you know a slight difference because you don't want people mis like the glasses like meshing with the uh with the shading here and o and always with inklings I I seem to see their mask is kind of like thick on the bottom here. So you do that. Yeah, it's starting to come out, right? And glasses is always nervous, so let's just, you know, give him a little nervous smile here. You know, Inkling's got them fangs and a little up tooth there. Make those eyes. Honestly, Glasses is one of my favorite characters. He's like such a nervous dork. We're a little off here, but that doesn't matter too much, I don't think. 
because honestly it kind of adds to its nervous look we're trying to capture here. Add a little highlighting. There we go. That's our first basis for glasses. Isn't he adorable? We're kind of like at the step right one zone. Let's just fix up those tentacles. Make them, you know, a little more tentacle shaped. He's like, oh, oh geez, I hope I look good on the camera. Oh crap. Oh, diddly darn dosh, I don't know. That was the weirdest thing I have ever said. You know what, there's probably going to be weirder. I'm not even going to make that assumption right now. But, uh, yeah, I think that captures his nerves. Add a little sweat drops, because, you know. And a little front shading here, because it's, you know, it's nerve shading. Nerdy nervous shading. And glasses here is good. Let's do a little bit of his lower body now. With his shirt collar tie, which kind of shirt collar and tie, which kind of goes sort of like this. You see that there? That was a little trick. And just make that tie, you know, tie and collar. I keep saying it. You don't need to pronounce as many words as I do. And we make his shoulders. Let's fix those up so they're kind of like bunched up, like he's kind of, make him kind of stiff looking. You know? That's a little off. I know anatomy thinking technically shouldn't matter too much. I think because they have no bones but you know anatomy always looks nice the point of anatomy is like it makes everything look cleaner and more professional you know and so even if you're a little jaunty at anatomy at first you're gonna get better honestly between you and me I used to be so terrible because oh my god like, honestly, my drawings look, used to look like Picasso, okay? So don't worry if you're a beginner. Let's add the inkling patch of one, two, three, four. And I think that's it. I think we're good here. And just because, I'm going to show you his... I'm going to do a few extra details to make it his Splatoon 2 outfit. Which is, we have little jellies here, um, a pocket here, pen, you know, a bunch of pens, he probably collects them, and it's striped tie, and... You know, I'm just going to put a bunch of dots where the jelly should be because, you know, it takes a lot of time to draw out all those jellies. And I'm pretty sure if you put the dots, everyone knows what you're thinking because each of those tiny dots are supposed to have three little legs on them. This is, you know, supposed to be a bit quick. You know, don't want to make it too long. Just draw the dots in somewhat orderly-ish form, and he'll look good. He's our dashing cute nerd here, look at him. I honestly love this squid. And anyhow, I, I hope you liked this. Um, you know, 
comment whoever else you want me to do. I've been, you know, drawing a lot of squids lately. I can, I can probably do some Pokemon. I know Pokemon manga and, uh, you know, some other stuff, Homestuck Hive Swap. But, yeah, there we go. Use glasses, have a good day, and, yeah.